Okay, this is the battery for the big jam box by Jawbone. It has 10.8 volts and it's called a jam battery. All right, now we're going to disassemble this battery to find out whether or not we can duplicate the battery by substituting other batteries. What we've got is a positive and negative lead. We've got some self-adhesive tape on here that uh, goes inside the jam box. It's on the bottom side and it keeps it from rattling around. Um, also, it's got some shock absorbing foam self-adhesive stickers on it that keep it also keep it from rattling around. Those are put on the inside. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Split it right down the middle and we'll just open it up. Okay. Well, we've got um, three, three cells and and a circuit board. That's not good. This circuit board is made to connect each one of the cells. I can see the, the circuits and the way they're laid out where it takes, it has tabs that go down in between each cell. And uh, so it puts each one of these cells in series. Let's measure the voltage of these cells and see what we get. Each one of these cells has a proprietary number on it. They don't want you to go in and try and buy cells and replace it. They want to have the, uh, the only place you can get it would be in Jawbone Jam Box. So they want to have it uh, proprietary and um, a lock job on on replacement parts. So if we measure the voltage of one cell, it's 2.71 volts. And if we measure two cells, it's five point, about 5.4 volts, 5.4 volts. And uh, let's see if we measure three cells, we got 8.2 volts. So, according to the wrapper, the wrapper says it needs 10.8 volts. If we take the 10.8 volts that it's supposed to be when it's new and working and in good condition, and we divide it by 3, 10.8 divided by 3, it comes out to each cell should be 3.6. And we only have 2.7. Okay, I uh, looked up on the internet and found the uh, the battery. The uh, the battery sells in two piece lots for 11.27, and you need two packages because it takes three cells. So uh, times two. You got 2254 in battery parts plus you have to put it together and somehow tack weld this circuit board to the to the plus and minus side of each one of these cells. Got the three cells and the three cells are taped together and are connected with these metal tabs. Uh, via this circuit board and uh, let's find out exactly how the inside of these uh, cells are connected and sure enough it is a tack weld so if we separate this a little bit you can see 
that the circuit board tab, circuit board tab right here, is tack welded to the bottom of the battery and the top of the battery. So there's, there's an insulation pad that goes in between the two cells. So it goes together like that. And then the tab is tack welded to the top and the bottom of the battery making them in series. Now if we were to buy these batteries separate and solder a wire here in lieu of this tack weld, um, it might present more of a problem in that it would separate the two cells perhaps far enough that it wouldn't fit in the battery compartment of the jam box. So one way to get around that would be to use thin gauge wire soldered to here and here and then folded to the outside and uh, done that way. So that's, that's one alt alternate method that can be used in lieu of a tack welder for connecting these batteries in series via the circuit board. There's circuitry inside the circuit board. We've got an IC, another IC, another IC, capacitors, there's a whole active circuit board under here. This is, this is a lot more than just putting the batteries in series. This is part of the charging system for these lithium ion batteries. Okay, so that means that just replacing the batteries would still need this circuit board. So we need to keep this circuit board and attach the wires to where they were alongside the, the cells, the three cells. One wire would have to be attached to each connection. That's an additional wiring that would have to take place in order to complete this circuit. This is just more, this is a lot more than just three cells in series. This is part of a charging system that's inherently involved with the big jam box. In addition to connecting the batteries in series, positive to negative, there's an external connector that comes off that has to be connected to the circuit board at each junction of the battery an additional wire has to be connected to the circuit board to provide proper charging for the cells. So it's a little more involved than I originally thought based on this circuit board. The cell information is right here for that particular cell and it shows that the nominal voltage should be 3.6 volts and it has a nominal current capacity of 2600 milliamps. Um, also the discharge characteristics of this particular cell 
uh, the end voltage is 3 volts and we're measuring 2.7 on each one of the, the cells here so this is really dead. I knew a uh, complete battery pack from Jawbone is uh, I think somewhere around the order of $55, $56. So it's a question of whether or not the difference between having the ability to tack weld this circuit board into this different the the positive and negative leads of the each one of these cells plus the 2254 and probably their shipping expenses in getting these cells if that's worth like 55 56 dollars then uh, you should save yourself all the work and just buy it from big jam box people I think uh, it doesn't make any sense to substitute the cells on eBay and build your own unless you have access to a, a tack welder to put this circuit board in place. That's it. It's the end of this YouTube. Thanks for watching.